Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Hollyborough Kukute F4 V2 flight controller board along with the Teco S 30 amp 4 in 1 ESE and also the Atlatl HV uh, video transmitter here. Comes in three boards here. These are actually, uh, actually can be sold separately. Um, I happen to have these two boards here together. Comes in this combo stack. Uh, you, let me just start off with the 4 in 1 EC. I believe this is a new product. It's a 4 in 1 30 amp. Uh, Beale Heli SESC it has a built in current sensor, bursts up to 40 amps, and the uh, current sensing data does come out via a pinout here that goes to the flight controller. Uh, so you can read that on your flight controller in the uh, in beta flight configuration. The flight controller itself here is the version 2 of the Kukute F4. I've never actually reviewed the version 1, so I'm not 100% sure what's new and different about the version 2. I did read the product spec and just say that they added a couple of extra UARTs on the board so that if you have a lot of devices, um, this board will come in handy. So it comes with, I believe, a total of five UARTs. And I believe the um, uh, the gyro is different. This is the uh, ICM20689. It is a 32K gyro and it has uh, mounting on this little foam pad here to eliminate vibrations so that you don't have the flight controller going crazy. Now, I believe the version 1 was also similar, had a 32K gyro and was on a foam pad as well. So you do have to be cautious as to uh, what you put over the top of this. And I think, you know, I'll, I'll probably eventually put this in together and into, into some sort of a, of a uh, quad and have standoffs here. And you want to make sure you have clearance so that nothing's actually touching the gyro. Otherwise, you'll have vibration issues and the flight controller will start doing weird stuff. Now the other thing that's uh, different about the flight controller itself is they've added through holes here instead of solder pads for all the connections and everything is kind of labeled there. It's it's a little sil it's silk screened onto the board. Uh, it's a little hard to get the camera to focus on it. Uh, however, uh, the onboard or the, the online manual will uh, give you the pinouts in more detail if you want to see a more detailed picture of it. Another thing to note about the flight controller is that it only supports serial receivers. It will not support uh, PPM or PWM receivers, so keep that in mind. Uh, this does also come with 16 megabytes of uh, black box data, so you can do your black box recording on this to uh, do your additional tuning. Now the input voltage on the flight controller board and on the ESCs is both uh, 2 to 6 S LiPo. I believe it's 2 to 6 S LiPo on the board and 3 to 6 S LiPo on the 4 and one ESC. So if you'd want to go 6 S on the setup, this one can definitely take that, no problem. Now the Atlatl uh, HV video transmitter here goes from 25 to 600 milliwatts. It does have an onboard microphone here, and this does connect uh, to the flight controller via the uh, Betaflight OSD. So you, I believe it's running the uh, smart audio protocol. So you can use the Betaflight OSD to change your bands, channels, and power. And uh, this newer version, I believe this is version 1.2 of the board, supports uh, half a milliwatt pit mode. So you definitely can use that for changing your bands and channels uh, while other people are flying and you should be um, not interfering with their flight. Now it looks like the, this newer version does come with the upgraded MMCX connector here. This is an, a newer connector. So this is stronger and should have less problems than the uh, micro FL connectors I think were on the previous version of this board. And you have this pigtail here. I believe this is an SMA connector. Anyway, it's going to do it for this quick look at these three boards here. The Atlatl H3 video transmitter the Kukuti F4 V2 and the Teco S 4-in-1 ESC. I'll put links to all these in the description below if you guys are interested. Let me know if you have any questions about these, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.